A lot of you have had a lot of questions about the new rock base. In this video, I'm going to go through two use case examples showing it in action. I'm going to try answering as many of those questions as I possibly can. Let's get into it. The Rock Base is a very high-end GNSS receiver, a geodetic grade, that we made and we sell it at a very cheap price. And what it does, you install it at a fixed location at your house or your office, and it transmits correction data to you in the field, so you can use it with your survey equipment, with your drone, anything that needs really high accuracy from your GPS. Now, to test the accuracy of the Rock Base and the Rock RTK network, I'm out here at a monument, and I'm going to use the MLID Reach RS2, log into the NTRIP RTK from Rock RTK, we're gonna compare the coordinates I get from this bad boy with the ones on the data sheet for this monument. All right, just turn on the Reach RTK rover. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the RTK network on the rover and grab those coordinates on that monument. So to set up the Rock RTK for the inlet's easy. Open up the app, come into your receiver, come into the correction input, and you can see there's an option for in-trip. I'm gonna go ahead and edit that. You can see here I already have one in here, but it's simple. All you have is a address, that's caster.rockerbox.com, a port 2101, my username, Terrison, and then let's blur that out. There's a password there, uh, and then I have the mountain point. So that's all you gotta do, and all that's on the rock cloud anyway, so you just type that in there, and then you wait for it, and you'll hear that sound, and go doo doo, and that means you got RTK fix. There it is. And all done. I just got six shots there on that monument for different time durations. What I wanna see is how the accuracy looks like on the vertical, as well as on the horizontal compared to that monument. Let's take a look at that data right now. I ended up capturing nine total measurements, and looking at the results, it's pretty phenomenal. In yellow, we see the NGS monument, 11.00 for that elevation, and our measurements are getting 10.991, 10.996, 10.998. We're all within about one centimeter vertical accuracy. And then horizontally, we have the easting and northing, and those are also right in that one centimeter sweet spot of accuracy. Pretty mind-blowing stuff. Let's test out the accuracy of the Rock RTK network on the Mavic 3 Enterprise RTK drone. So I went ahead and logged in to the RTK network here on the drone. I'm gonna fly a photogrammetry mission, and I'm gonna do the Orth Mosaic using drone deploy. Then I'm gonna go out and capture a bunch of ground shots using the inlet tied in the RTK network. We're gonna compare the accuracy of those two to each other. Let's see how it looks. And here is the Orth Mosaic. Now, I used Drone Deploy to make the Orth Mosaic, and then I took those ground control shots and just uploaded them to the Rock Cloud. So what we're seeing is an Orth Mosaic generated from Drone Deploy and independent GCPs just laid on top. And look how well those line up. That is phenomenal alignment. Now I can jump over to the opposite side of the data set just to look at the two opposite ends. Here we go, let's look over here. And boom, spot on alignment. So that just shows you right there that the RTK that you're getting from the rock base on the drone is doing a fantastic job at generating really accurate data and even going through drone deploy. Now I did one more cool thing here. I went ahead and ordered some line work. So right there, boom, that is the rock planetmetrics. So that way you can see, you can actually do planetmetrics from North Mosaics in the rock cloud. Shameless plug. And that right there should answer a lot of your questions you had about the Rock RTK network and the Rock base. Some really profound accuracies that we're getting out of this very inexpensive hardware. Now, if you wanted to see exactly where all these base stations are located and if any are near you, you can go over to cloud.rockerbuck.com and click on the Rock RTK map. You can see all the active base stations around the globe and see if one's in your neighborhood that you can use. Now, we just did one more cool thing. We signed out a deal with GeodeNet, which is gonna allow Rock RTK network to grow to the entire GeodeNet, meaning that the base network is gonna grow to about 1,000 base stations in the next 30 days. That's 1,000 base stations all around the world where you can tie in highly accurate data. It's only growing from there, guys. We're gonna get 2,000 pretty soon, and I hope we're gonna hit 10,000, this 100,000 number in the future, because that is gonna allow full coverage of the entire world all in one decentralized network that you're contributing to. Now, if you wanna get access to this data, you can also sign up for a subscription. It is $40 a month to get access to the entire network. That means you can use it on your MLID, you can use it on your Mavic 3 Enterprise, and pretty soon we're gonna be offering up the data in PVK so you can download the Rhinex data and post-process your data offline, not in real time. 
All that and more is coming up, and I hope you guys enjoy it, and I hope you guys subscribe, and also subscribe to the channel, like, share, and I'll see you here next time here on Indiana Drones.